Please welcome the President of the European Jewish Congress, Mr. Moshe Kantor. I would like to say to you today, we are all in the same European boat. It is getting through the growing waves of radical Islam, neo-Nazism, and anti-Semitism. Do you think their behavior will be much different from their brown predecessors? Please, support our mutual initiative by real, honest, and concentrated discourse. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Milan Stiech. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jan Hamacek. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Prime Minister of the Czech Republic, Mr. Borislav Sobotka. It's my job to challenge, to ask rigorous questions of people who have power and influence in our world today. And I am absolutely delighted to be able to bring perhaps a few of those skills to bear on what promises to be a couple of hours of fascinating panel debate. out of four adults in this world, one out of four adults in this world are infected seriously with the disease of anti-Semitism. The end of Central European states was the beginning of the Holocaust because it extrudes Jews from the system. One of the reasons why I think anti-Semitism has such power today is precisely globalization. We, we are living through the second globalization. We think it's all new and different, but it's not. The same thing happened a century ago. With globalization comes a temptation for global explanations of things that go wrong. And that's one of the ways that anti-Semitism comes in. Jews are strong. They are strong. They, are, they were weak in the 30s. They were vulnerable. They were alone. They were uninformed, disinformed of about what was coming. Today, they are strong of their wiseness. They are strong of, their, of all that they learned. They are strong also of the positiveness, of the pride of their Jewishness. And this is completely different uh, of the situation of the world. Well. That there should be a European law in the making in order to make it a criminal offense at a European level. Hatred, speech, and incitement to hatred. Because you can tell it when you see it. You can tell the difference when you see it. It's excellent that we have so deep philosophical, historical analysis. Just now we are getting to the panel with practical proposals, with all my respect. The paradox of, uh, of tolerance, that if you tolerate the intolerable uh, too much, you'll end up having more and more uh, intolerance. So I think the question is how you frame it. We think that every crime should be, under certain circumstances, be considered a hate crime, and the punishment should therefore be more severe. These should be regarded as aggravating circumstances. And you yourself said the law cannot solve the problem itself. There is uh, the necessary interpretation done by the courts uh, because uh, to uh, identify where the red line is, the red line, we keep speaking about it all the time here, it must be uh, considered in every individual case. So uh, I believe that the great test of his democracy is to be tolerant to the intolerant. And the idea of trying to legislate rather than trying to devote all of our collective energies to winning in the court of public opinion, to persuading the world that intolerance is wrong and intolerance should be defeated. It is not true that you cannot stop such an idea. Not only can you, but you must, because if you don't, you are likely to perish later on. I'm here also because my grandmother 
was taken in Paris in 44 by the French police and she was sent to Drancy and then to Theresienstadt where she died in 44 just before the liberation of the camp. And I would like to thank you Vera uh, Europa, for mentioning uh, the Roma because this is a real problem for Europe, never recognized in the Roma Holocaust. So we have to act, all of us, we all have to take responsibility for all kinds well, of extremism. Now this is about leadership. It's about politicians stepping up to the plate and sending sometimes tough messages to their own people. Uh, it's about responsibility in politics, not just looking for the easy option or pandering to win votes, but actually showing real leadership. From us to see that the politicians in the 21st century, in 2015, they are united, they have the same tools, they have the same action plan, no matter that in Romania, in France, in Norway, or in the United Kingdom. So this is the main reason that we get here, to have the same action plan, the same tools for whole Europe. All right. We're not for their efforts. There would be another UN resolution, there would be no Holocaust Memorial Day, there would be no Im impressive events you've just been talking about. There will be another UN resolution no one will ever forget. Please give a very warm hand to my last panel and to yourselves for being so patient and such a great audience. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.